Welcome back to another video. My name is Rafa, aka The Crypto Network. And as always, if you would like to support me outside of this free educational crypto content YouTube channel, you can join the Crypto Network Community Discord. And if you'd like to join the VIP Club, all the information is in the description below. And all the information is also on my website. So today's video is about finding the next 100x. Now, I'm not going to tell you which cryptocurrency is going to be the next 100x. I'm going to give you a list of everything that you need to know as to what could be the next 100x. And I will give you all the tools and resources and information that you can take from this video and hopefully use your own research, your own skill, your own skill base involvement when it comes to the crypto space to figure out and search what the next 100x could be. So if you've caught up and you watched all previous videos in the Complete Crypto Guide. This Again, this video is part of many that I plan to make on this channel for free for many generations to come and many years to come for people who want to learn about crypto and they want a place to find this information, find these resources. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly what you need to do to find 100x. Now, what is a 100x, right? A 100x crypto is investing into one of these cryptos before they shot up, right? It's like finding BNB, right? When BNB was maybe a dollar. So let's go back in time and let's find out when BNB was $1, right? If BNB was $1, BNB was about $1 in 2017, 2018. So in this case scenario, if we had this information, uh, that we have in this video that I'll be providing for you, we can easily dictate how this could have been a possible 100x. So let's go back in time. A 100x crypto is a valuation of a cryptocurrency has shot up by 100x. That's why all of you guys click this video. That's why all of you guys are watching this video. You want to find a way how to find a cryptocurrency that has multiplied in value by at least 100x. And BNB is one of those cryptocurrencies that all these individuals who are trading BNB, look at the trading volume, right? 50 million, 40 million, 100 million, 165 million trading volume. Back here in 2017, we have 1 million, 7 million, 4 million, 15 million. We have all sorts of trading volume in BNB back then. So there's millions of dollars worth of investing funds and trading funds that were poured into BNB back in 2017. Now, anybody who had invested, let's say, $5,000 into BNB at $1 and forgot about it. And if they were to wake up today, they would see that their $1 BNB is now worth $300. So BNB has actually 300 x So in this case, anybody who invested $5,000 into BNB would have had 5,000 BNB. And if they had sold and they went, let's say somebody went to a coma, hypothetically speaking, if somebody never touched, you know, their portfolio, somebody went to sleep, somebody then wakes up and five years later, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, it's 2022 and their BNB is worth $300. So they waited five years before they found out or before they did, you know, their cryptocurrency shot up and got to a valuation of 300 X. So BNB, is not only just a 300x, it is also a 600x because it's all time high. If you go down here, we can always see that it's all time high was $690. So it's done more than a 600x, almost a 700x from the $1 range alone, right? So that's what a 100x crypto is. And it's everyone's dream to find out the next 100x. Now, if we were to go back in time and any investor or trader were to have looked at BNB, what is BNB? What you know, nothing's changed about BNB it's except the fact that now DeFi got involved in the last two years and there's more of a use case. BNB was nothing more than a cryptocurrency token that's, that was directly backed by an actual exchange. So Binance came out with an exchange and they decided we're going to launch BNB. BNB was going to be one of their, their cryptocurrencies that are directly with their exchange. Similarly as to how we have BUSD, right? They want it to be, see, what I believe in crypto is building your foundation is one of the most important things. If you build a foundation of connections, a build a foundation of opportunity, then opportunity will come your way. So Binance was 
one of the first cryptocurrency exchanges that really built a name for itself outside of just being an exchange. It got involved in many different events, even charitable events. They came out with their own uh, company, Binance Labs. See, people don't realize how quick Binance really is to act upon certain things. Binance has their own hardware wallet. Binance has their own exchange. Binance also has their own US exchange. Binance also has other different region exchanges that they're connected with. Binance has also invested into other exchanges. Binance also has their own token. Binance also has their own stablecoin. Binance also has lever trading. Binance also has their Binance futures. Binance also lends you money. Binance also lets you, I believe, they're recently getting involved in credit cards too. They're just one step ahead. They have their own NFT marketplace. Binance has its own metaverse like buy research as well team that they're working on. Binance, Binance, Binance has just built room and room of opportunity to continue to just be pushed out to the public. So if we went back in time and we saw that BNB has all this connect, all these opportunities are building these connections, and we looked at the roadmap, a roadmap is what distingu distinguishes to see what they plan in the future, and and they have they have the investors, they had the base capital. Everything about Binance screamed opportunity. It screamed opportunity. Right. And it's also about finding the trends. Well, back then crypto was a scam, right? But if you did enough research, you could have figured out and distinguished between the two what a scam is and what a realistic exchange is. Back then there was an exchange called Cryptopia. I ended up getting I ended up losing a lot of my money on there personally. There was many different exchanges back then that a lot of people used to use. One of them being Bitrex. Bitrex was also a very big exchange that people used to use back then. And now from rank, you know, top five, it's rank twenty-three. Uh, there used to be a Canadian exchange that got hacked. Don't know off the top of my head. Uh, I believe Quadra X or something. Uh, there, there was a lot of exchanges back then that don't exist now. So if you were to have gone back in time, you would have seen that some of the only exchanges that were really continuously showcasing uh, commitment was Binance. So the reason I'm mentioning and emphasizing this video and using BNB as an example is because this that all the similarities about Binance and BNB, there's one factor, consistency. Consistency, a dedicated team, and continuous uh, engagement with their communities and involvement that they're surrounded with. They are surrounded with connections. They are surrounded with, like, they have their own conventions. They have their own team, global teams. Binance is one in many one in many different scenarios where you would expect it to fail, but it didn't. So Binance is one of those things where it was fighting against all these different exchanges and the ones that made it, made it, right? Coinbase, when you think about the top exchanges, Binance and Coinbase are the first ones to show up, right? In your head or KuCoin. That's why they're in, you know, they're in here. FTX is also one. Kraken, there's a reason why they're ranked accordingly because these are the ones that people are continuously surrounding themselves with and actively using it. A lot of lazy people in crypto are not familiar with decentralized finance and they're not use, uh, they're not familiar with holding their cryptocurrencies on their wallets. People like things making things easier for them. So Binance and Coinbase was just room of you know satisfaction for the average trader because they felt safe and they are safe. But at the end of the day, I'm also a firm believer that nothing is safe on exchanges. But for the most part, as far as Binance goes, they do everything in their ability and commitment to make sure that, hey, if you can't use their services anymore, they at least let you withdraw your cryptocurrency. Some of these exchanges, they'll just lock you out completely if you don't have a KYC, if you don't have a two-factor authentication, if you can't remember or verify your email. So all of these things that made BNB do absolutely so good is because they were consistent. Now, consistency is something you want to look for in a 100x crypto. Now, also, we want to look at the market cap. Market cap is something that people often ignore, <laughs> something that people don't like looking at and factoring in. People till this day believe that Bitcoin can give them a 100x. People till this day believe that Bitcoin will give them 100x in their lifetime. Maybe it'll give you 100x, maybe when you know your your grandkids grandkids maybe or if the entire economy in the you you know in the world not just the us and the entire economy gets inflated with money 
where the to the point where the U.S. dollar loses its value, and then everything just skyrockets because well, money is not worth anything. So you don't want a currency that's not worth anything. If everyone was rich, then being rich meant would mean nothing. So there's a reason why it has its own word, rich, right? Because there's you have the lower class, the middle class, and the high upper class, and that's how society and economics works. That's how things are categorized, unfortunately, in today's world. So these are things you need to look at. So market cap, you have to be realistic. Nothing above a 500 million market cap is going to be a realistic scenario to see a 100x on. Now, 100x cryptos usually happen with market cap. Market cap is a very big, big, big thing that people forget. So I'm going to show you how you can look for cryptocurrencies that are on coin market cap that have a low market cap right and by the way you guys might not even know this while we're on the topic of binance coin market cap is ran and owned by binance so let that sink in how one step ahead binance really is binance owns the website that displays all cryptocurrencies is one of the biggest apps that everyone uses for crypto they own it so really and truthfully think about that let that sink in i won't say too much but let that sink in so we want to look at market cap. We want to see the lowest and we want to see the highest. So this is the lowest and highest on the top 100. So you can see the hey, the lowest we get in the top 100 is 350 million market cap, which means if we wanted 100x, this would have to be multiplied by 100. So the chances of seeing a 350, 1 million market cap multiplied by 100 is going to be very slim right this has to shoot up from 35 351 million to 35 billion and that's just, that's just asking for a lot because you know you, you divide it and that's how it's looking right so we're going to move on to the second page and we do the same and we do the same thing these are all cryptocurrencies and we're going to look at the same thing. We're going to, now we're in, we see that in the top 200 cryptocurrencies, the lowest market cap is 100 million. Now, well, you could start looking for cryptocurrencies in here because the, the chances to get a 100x from this point is kind of possible. It's a little bit more, li more likely than the last, uh, app, what's it called? Implication. So now, we're on the next market cap, lowest to highest. So now we are below 100 million. Essentially, to find a cryptocurrency that's going to give you 100x, you want to look for below 100 million market cap to 50 million market cap, anything lower than that. Around the ranges below, I would say personally, I won't be looking for a cryptocurrency unless it's below 75 million if I'm looking for 100x crypto. Now, that's an important factor. Yes, very important factor when you want to find a 100x crypto, but that's not it. That's not all that you need to look for. You want to look at the trading volume because if a cryptocurrency is not being traded, then it means you found a dead project. You found a project that has a dead end. You found a project that's not being worked on. You found a project that's there's no development. There's no community. There's no, there's no commitment. There's no consistency, right? First one was consistency. The second was market cap, right? There's no consistent development going on and that also ties along with trading volume you also want to look at the circling supply because most individuals don't know this but a circling supply if you have one percent circulating supply and there's 100 million tokens in you know total tokens and only one percent is circulating well that means you have a higher chance of keep going down because that's how economy works you you introduce tokens to the economy that were locked. Now there's 2 million tokens. Now there's 3 million tokens. There's 4 million. Let's, you guys ever watch the social network? They inflated and diluted certain shares. So the shares were essentially worthless for one of the co-founders of, of Facebook. So there's a whole, it's a pretty good movie. If you haven't watched it, you should watch it. So yeah, you need to look at the circulating supply. You want to look for the closest thing that's at 100%. Very hard to find 100% circulating supply. But anything about 70% circulating supply is good. So now 
We're going to go to the next chart because obviously this is not meet my criteria. I want to look for things below 75 million. And now we'll see a huge change of cryptocurrencies that are dropping down. We see a lot of cryptocurrencies that are now in this region where we can see. So just looking at these cryptocurrencies, you know, Blue Zell, for example, I know for, you know, I know that they're, what's it called? I believe they're listed on many big exchanges. It's a 50 million market cap. It's trading volume is insane for the day. I believe it's because, you know, it is pumped up just for today. So that's why it's moving. But so that wouldn't be the best example to use. But again, you would look at the trading volume. You would look at the development path. I'm not saying that Blue Zell is 100x crypto. I'm saying that it is a possibility as you go down and look for the certain criteria. You want to look for consistency. You want to look for consistently uh, consistent development. You want to look for active communities. You want to look for active social media. You want to look at the market cap. And you want to look at the trading volume. And you want to see the use case. Don't forget the most important part is use case. How is this cryptocurrency that I'm looking at going to change and make an impact down the line? Go look at my last two videos prior to this video that I just uploaded, which is going to be titled 100X. You know, I mentioned specifically domino effect, the domino effect. How can the addition of this cryptocurrency be self-evaluated, you know, self-valued at 100X? How can it be pushed to a 100X crypto? How are people going to benefit from it? How are investors and traders going to interact with it, engage with it? operate on it, build on it, expand on it, because cryptocurrency isn't just about buying and selling. It's also about using the technology, which people meme throughout the last couple of years. You know, I'm in it for the tech, but there's a lot of great cryptocurrencies that have a lot of great technology behind it. And you want to look at all these things before you go and invest into something blindly into 100X. Now, full disclaimer and full cautious and warning at the end of this video, I wanted to make sure I prioritize this very big statement you will probably invest and lose money 90 percent of the time when you are looking for a 100x crypto I, trust me believe me i know because i've done it i've lost 90 percent of the time when i've tried finding 100x crypto which is why i often don't even look for them anymore the worst part about 100x crypto is you will either make a ton of money or you will lose everything because if a market crash happens and the whole world goes into panic mode, the first things that people get rid of are low caps and micro caps. And 100x crypto possibilities are usually low cap and micro caps. I have a rule. I don't ever go and talk about projects and low caps and micro caps on my YouTube channel or my TikTok page or any of my social medias. I don't, I don't like telling people why I'm buying them because I have a huge push. I have an audience of over 170,000 members in Discord. If I were to simply say I'm buying a so-and-so cryptocurrency and it's valued at, let's say, a 10 or 20, 30 million market cap, there's no doubt that 5,000 people at least will probably go and buy it. Those 5,000 people will probably ape in. Those 5,000 people will probably tell their friends. And there's no doubt that I will be the single-handedly single reason why this cryptocurrency pumps. And that is not good for any cryptocurrency project unless you are a pump and dumper and you're trying to take advantage of people, which I will not do, nor will I ever do, nor do I have any interest in doing that because I'm for the people and I would never do that to my people who gave me this platform. So understand that the best 100x crypto possibilities are the ones that are in the following things that I've said. You can go rewatch the video just a couple of minutes ago or seconds ago. Those are the types of criteria, things that you want to look for, right? Engagement with the communities, development, market cap, trading volume, consistency, uh, exp expanding, building, researching with the communities, development teams, you know, backing, investing funds, liquidity. There's so many things that tie in before you would throw your money blindly into a, a gamble. Because 100x crypto, 100, those 100x cryptocurrency possibilities, they're possible. But there's already thousands of cryptocurrencies trying to compete with one another who are essentially majority of them are doing the same thing. And because there's no there's no unique cryptocurrencies and the cryptocurrencies that are unique or have already made a name for, for themselves are the ones that have already blown up. So. My job is to educate and inform 
this is all the information I can give to you. And again, you can explore to see which cryptocurrencies are fitting the criteria that I've listed but and see which ones are consistently developing. I will leave off with one final statement is one of the best things that you can look for during a bear market is to see if a cryptocurrency is developing. If a cryptocurrency is consistently pushing out updates and development on their contract, on their network, on their nodes, on their blockchain, it's a good sign. So I hope this video helped you. I hope this video opened up your eyes. I hope this video, I cautioned you enough. Please invest wisely. Nothing I've said in this video is financial advice. Nothing I ever say is financial advice. As always, nothing is guaranteed in crypto. Aside from the fact that nothing is guaranteed in crypto is the only thing guaranteed in crypto. Cryptocurrency is about making the most amount of money in the shortest amount of time. Getting in, getting out, and then doing it all over again. I will see you guys in the next video. If you guys would like to support me further, be sure to join the Crypto Network Community Discord link in bio. Peace.